this is going to be his team, Jorge Sampaoli admitted in March, on an overcast day in Manchester. He was, as he often is as Argentina's head coach, talking about Lionel Messi. He is the best of all and is in a stage of maturity that can he can carry the team on his shoulders, he added, before reiterating himself for good measure. This is going to be his team. These were strange and unexpected words from the best known BL sister. As a disciple of the new Leeds United manager, Sam Paley demands that his team sit high, press hard and attempt to overload the opposition. It is a style, seen in his 2011 Copa Sudamericana winning Universidad de Chile and his 2015 Copa America winning Chile, that makes equal demands of each player rather than resting on the talents of an individual. It was different at the last World Cup. Alejandro Sabella predicated his Argentina on defense, believing that solid foundations underneath Messi's mastery would be enough to edge his team through the tournament. That was, in a way, how it transpired. Of their five wins on the way to the defeat in the Maracana final, not one came by more than one goal. Lalbi Celeste scored just twice in the knockout stages yet narrowly missed out on a third World Cup. Age 22 Club Paris Saint-Germain position midfield Age 22 Club Boca Juniors position forward Age 25 Club Ajax position defender Age 28 Club Everton position midfield Age 27 Club Burnley position midfield Age 32 Club Real Madrid position midfield Age 29 Club Inter Milan position midfield Age 26 Club Hoffenheim position forward Age 22 Club Arsenal position midfield Age 19 Club Deportivo La Coruña position goalkeeper Messi, meanwhile, was named the player of the tournament, scoring four, including a memorable late group stage winner against Iran, but the prize did not come without controversy. At Blatter, then FIFA president, was there to shake Messi's hand when the golden ball was presented but later admitted to being surprised. Diego Maradona went further, dismissing the decision to award Messi the prize as a marketing plan. Whether Sam Paley watched on thinking the same we do not know, but were he in charge, he would not have set out to channel Argentina's play entirely through Messi in the same manner as Sabella. He may even have argued that, in order to extract the very best out of his greatest talent, Messi must play as part of a system rather than as a tacked-on superstar. Why, then, those words in March? And why, a year on? From Sam Paley's eye-catching appointment, do Argentina appear no less dependent on the greatest footballer of a generation? Sam Paley has revealed his team to play Iceland, Getty, having a player of such immeasurable talent as Messi is both a gift and a curse. The idea that he does not deliver for Argentina is overstated, without Messi's hat-trick in Quito last November, Sam Paley's side would not be participating in Russia. Yet his presence in the national side often causes a simple, schoolyard problem, Messi's teammates seek him out and look to him for inspiration rather than playing their own game. Paolo Dybala attracted much attention last October when he said it was not easy to line up alongside Messi because they operate in similar spaces and play in a similar way. Dybala later claimed his words were misinterpreted, but by that stage Sampaoli had already attempted to clarify what the 24-year-old, the supposed heir to Messi's throne, had meant. Robbie Williams performs at 2018 World Cup opening ceremony. Dybala said what he felt about playing beside the world's best player. 
It's often difficult to know what position you have in the attack when you are playing alongside someone of Lionel's intelligence, Sam Paoli said. The suggestion was that Dybala and too many of his international teammates were still somewhat in awe of Messi, still adjusting their play to suit him rather than putting the system first. Dybala's remarks only fueled the idea that he and Messi are incapable of forming a natural partnership and he is now destined to play second fiddle at best in Russia. Yet deference to world's best player is still in the muscle memory of most of this Argentina side, not just Dybala, and it will prove difficult to shake, no matter the makeup. This is, as Sam Paley put it in March, still Messi's team. The system is yet to incorporate the individual. Ola de Coquia on what Argentina must do to win the World Cup. The latest attempt at a solution will be on show at Moscow's Otkriti Arena on Saturday, when Argentina open Group D against this World Cup's most organized, systemic of outfits, Iceland. Sam Paley felt comfortable enough on Friday to name his lineup at his pre match press conference, revealing that Lucas Belia, Maximiliano Meza, and Sergio Aguero will all start. Messi is likely to take up his preferred position of second striker. The formation will be a 4 2 3 1 on paper, though in practice may look more like the unconventional 2 3 3 2 that Sam Paley touted while announcing his World Cup squad. Yet, whatever the shape, the personnel selected suggests that the creative burden on Messi will not ease. He will remain the central, uniting figure in the Argentina's attacking play with an out-and-out -out goal scorer in Aguero dependent on him. Unless Argentina find a way to best complement their star's talents over the course of this tournament, it is hard to see how Lyle B. Celeste go one further than in Brazil. If Messi's final World Cup at his peak is to end in triumph, it cannot be his team. It must be Sam Paoli's. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.